In this tutorial in Tyler Pro, we're going to look together at how to add a background to a title. If you have the add-on version of Tyler Pro, like I'm showing here, you may find that oftentimes you create a title and then on a different track, you use a color board or something similar to put a background underneath your title. You don't need to do that with Tyler Pro. Let me show you how. What we're going to do is take this title here called Great Summer Move Me, Movie and put a background. Let me show you two or three different ways to do that. I'm going to add a shape uh, here by clicking on the button that says Add Shape. I will choose a rectangle and it puts a shape at the top layer. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom layer. It will be behind everything else. And I'll take the mouse and drag the size of the shape to be larger than the screen and I'll adjust the width. And now I have a white background. Let's assume I want a different color of background. All I have to do is click on the style tab with the shape selected. I can click on the box here that's white and I can change it to any color I prefer. Let's take a light purple and click it there. Now I have a different color. Let's assume I want to do something I can't do with a color board in PowerDirector. I want to add a gradient. I'll click on the gradient button in the middle and we'll move our little circles around for the uh, different kinds of gradients that I can have. There we go. And I'll take the bottom one. Let's make the bottom one kind of a yellow. And let's take the top one and make the top one more of a uh, something in the orange part of the spectrum. Maybe right here. Click on OK. And now I have a gradient for my background. A nice feature. Very easy to do. You can also take a texture as well. And under the 3D face category, I'll click on texture here and then I'll click in my box and we'll pick a texture. Um, let's take this uh, coat of cuddles and I put that in there and now I have my texture as a background all on the same slide. Let me show you something else you can do. I'm going to take the shape, right click on it and delete it and I'll show you one other way you can do this. We're going to take our our mouse and put it on the file uh, menu and we'll do import image and now I'll go to a place where I have some stored some images here um, some and we'll go to ST backgrounds well, let's try this to sample I've pulled in that and I'm going to click on it so I can highlight it I'll enlarge it and there is an image that I had I have a gradient and I have two other images that are embedded in that. Let me pick a different image here. All I have to do is click on my shape here and then we'll go ahead and right click and we'll delete it. We'll try another one, File, uh, Import Image. Let me click uh, this one here. Again, I'll highlight it and we'll size it to fit the screen. And there I have a second image that I can use as a background on my particular title. So there are very easy ways that you can do this. And I'm going to save this by clicking on the X. And now in my regular movie on track number one, where I have my Tyler Pro title, everything is there. I don't have, any, have to have anything above it or below it to create a very complex uh, title in Tidler Pro, complete with a background of my own design.